is the term for playing short and separated like this. No, there are others, but those are two words. There you go. And if I play like this, how would you describe it? You can look at your bingo board to find the answer. Not every bingo board has every answer, but it's pretty close. No. Um, if it says one on the upper corner. What symbol means to play high notes? as opposed to low notes. No takers? You guys. Do you play high notes or low notes on the violin? Oh, oh, um, treble. <laughs> treble clef. Because <laughs> I think you knew that. I think you were trying to tell me <laughs> telepathically. But you actually have to use your words because I never took that ESP class. It was always scheduled during my teaching time. Okay. <laughs> this word means fast and happy. Uh, allegro. Allegro. This symbol means to raise a note a half. That's your sharp, Andre. No bingos yet? This symbol is where we draw the notes. I think Billy has a bingo. Billy, do you have a diagonal bingo? Billy, you gotta yell bingo! Bingo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, clear your board. Swap your paper with somebody. So yeah, there you go. Find your free square. If I play like this, how would you describe it? Can you find the picture on your I bingo board? I, I found it, I just forgot the name. It's called a staff. Everybody say staff. Staff. Yeah. All right. Take your candy. I don't think that's what it is. The staff is the five lines and the four spaces. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. What 
do you hear? means to play low notes. Oh, bass clap. Bass clap. Can you find the symbol that's your bass clap? Mm -hmm. Do you know why? No, you don't. How would you describe how I'm playing? Getting louder. So what do we call it when we are getting louder? Crescendo. crescendo. And what does the symbol look like when we're for the crescendo? Uh, uh, yeah, it looks like a beak, but it's the one where the mouth is open to the right. This symbol means to play it again. The repeat. The repeat sign. Can you find the repeat sign? This symbol means to lower a note by half a step. Flat. Can you find the symbol for a flat? What do you hear? Step down. Step down. Bingo? <coughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Excellent. Okay, clear it. To slur or to connect the notes. The tie. The tie or the slur. We don't have enough information to know whether it's a tie or a slur. This instruction means to go back to the beginning and play until you see the word that tells you it's over. Dine. Everybody say that. D C L P N E. D C L P N E. Right. The first time we get that is in Gavat at the end of book one. We get it again. 
again in the minuet at the end of book two. Um, which rhythm do you hear? Do you hear a quarter note, two eighth notes, or four sixteenth notes? Two eighth notes. Two eighth notes. Find your two eighth notes. Did you find them both? Oh, you had it. You have bingo again? No, no. Okay, um, what do you hear? What interval do you hear? Does it sound like a first, a fourth, or a seventh? It's a unison, it's the same note. <coughs> you find your number one first. It can be a fifth. Just by that? Mm -hmm. Yes, it can be a cross, it can be a fifth, it can be a Ah, Okay, so yeah. bingo, okay. Clear <laughs> <laughs> it? Let's do this. Let's switch papers and we'll do it one more time. Find your free square. What do you hear? Did you hear one quarter note, two eighth notes, or four sixteenth notes? One quarter note. One quarter note. Can you find that symbol? What interval is this? Do you hear? One quarter note, two eighth notes, and three sixteenth notes. I'm sorry, four sixteenth notes. So find your four sixteenth notes. What interval do you hear? This is the name of the person who created the way we learn and wrote several songs for us. Dr. Suzuki. Still no bingos? Yeah. Have you been finding all of your boxes, Billy? Let's see. Oh yeah, we had um, the 16th note. We just had Dr. Suzuki. We had three, four times signature. We're still missing one. You can learn it. The 
Japanese composer, lived in Italy and wrote a lot of music for the guitar. Can you use your deductive reasoning skills to figure out which one that might be? Andrea? Caruli. Ferdinando Caruli. You got a bingo! Yay! Okay. So you can take your candies or you can save them for next week by putting them back in my bag. What? Absolutely. Just put it back in the bag. Thank you. 